This video will be walking through how to properly assemble a Rubbermaid Commercial Products motorized platform truck. This platform truck is designed to reduce the effort required to move heavy loads up to 1,000 pounds and assist with initial push force helping move heavy loads easier. This video will walk you through how to assemble the motorized platform truck and will break it down into key steps. You'll need the following items to assemble your motorized platform truck. Use the included instruction sheet alongside the video to best aid in part identification. In order to properly assemble the motorized platform truck, you'll need the following tools. Step 1. From your platform truck packaging, remove the non-powered handle, the fixed casters, and 8A screws from the box and put to the side, as you'll not need them for the motorized cart assembly. Step 2. Place platform H on the ground so the bottom is facing up. Place support beams I into the horizontal channels on the left and right side of the platform. Step 3. Install the swivel casters. Place spacer E at the front of the platform base on top of the support beam. Then place swivel caster L on top of the spacer. Secure the swivel caster and the spacer to the platform with four D washers and four B screws using a variable wrench. Repeat step three for the second swivel caster. Step four, install the power wheels. Place power wheel K at the back of the platform base on top of the support beam. Secure the power wheel to the platform with four D washers and four A screws using a variable wrench. Repeat step four for the second power wheel. Step five, Flip the platform over so the casters and wheels are on the ground. Step six, insert power handle J into the platform by aligning the pins with the holes on support beams I. You should hear a click once secure. Step seven, flip the platform truck on its side. Step eight, remove the connections from the battery compartment. Step nine, connect the right and left wheel cables to the matching connectors located in the battery compartment. Each will be labeled with an L or an R. Then connect the throttle body cables to the matching connectors in the battery compartment. Step 10. Once all the cables are connected, store the connectors into the battery compartment. Step 11. Place wire cover G over the battery compartment to secure the wires in place using three F screws and a T20 screwdriver. Step 12. Route the brake cables from the power handle to the power wheels. Step 13. Remove the top knot, support hardware, and spring from the brake cable. Route the cable through the power wheel bracket. Then, install the spring back onto the brake cable and insert the support hardware into the brake bracket. Screw in the top knot in the side of the brake bracket into the end of the brake cable. Do not over tighten in order to make sure the power wheel is able to freely move. Step 14. Using the power drill and 3 16 drill bit, drill five attachment holes at the base of the platform in a T-shape. Organize and lay all of the wiring against the base of the platform. Route zip ties C through the holes created to secure the wires to the base of the platform. Step 15. Flip the platform truck over. Insert a fully charged battery into the active battery compartment. Insert the key into the key slot. And you're now ready to use your motorized platform truck. Thank you for choosing Rubbermaid Commercial Products.